You're talking to a girl that is an ex-drug addict, um, a high school dropout, um, a girl that was a bus ticket away from being a prostitute. I was on crystal meth for about six years. I lost the best years of my life to that drug. My father passed away when I was six years old, so my mom's been a widow for 19 years, and my mom's very old-fashioned. She doesn't know that I fight. She knows I'm a professional woman, but she doesn't know what I do. You know, she has heart problems, and I just don't, don't want to worry her with telling her her little baby is getting punched in the face or, you know. I mean, obviously, um, fighting is very important to me. I and mean, the other big thing in my life is my son, Lewis, who's uh, be two in April. When I started off in fighting, no one really supported me. Eventually, I think once they saw that I'm actually good at it, they kind of warmed up to it a little bit. No technique, that's all she wants is When I fight, it's time to fight. So they can think I'm cute and they can think I'm nice and they can think whatever they want. But you better watch out when I get in the ring. Here we go, round number two. Fight! Get up the three. Karina Danzig, coming top. And right away they're gonna fight at each other. Oh, nice stiff left hand in this. Here they go! Come on, Keep fighting on the forehead. Dancer again! Mixed martial arts definitely saved my life. I was on a path of self-destruction. Um, I have an addictive personality, and thank God my new addiction is MMA. Fight! Here we go. Man, look at the bomb being blown already. My um, primary fight experience happened in Hawaii. You get punched by 240 pounds Samoan, there's nothing that a 125 pound bitch is gonna do to you in the ring. I promise you that. <laughs> I think there's a lot of pressure trying to balance looking after Lewis and giving him all the love and attention that he needs and at the same time preparing for the fight and training for the fight and focusing on that and it, it can be quite difficult to do. On the leg, Rosie, yeah. oh, ha, ha, ha. My first degree I studied maths at Cambridge um, and then I moved to Manchester to do a PhD. I did it because I liked the challenge. My weaknesses. <laughs> I don't have any weaknesses. <laughs> the position that I've worked up to now has really put me more at the forefront of the sport for women. Uh, Rosa goes high. Nice attempt at a high kick. Uh, Rosa trying to go with that high knee. Pumping back and forth like rock'em, shock'em robot. It is very, very deep. That's it. it. And it's over. The MMA winner, Tara LaRosa. Since she was little, sports were her thing. I'd try not to watch. I've been to two or three of them, and I'm not a big fan of it, to be honest with you. I am concerned about Tara, but the people that she's with, I feel comfortable with, because uh, you're professional people, and you know what you're doing. Adrian Elzaldi was my boyfriend of two years, and uh, he had been in Iraq. And I found out yesterday that he was killed. Well, I'm sorry. Yeah. He was killed by a um, IED. Took to him and one of the other men in his unit. So. This will be my first fight without Adrian. He really has been instrumental in developing me, you know, not just my skills, but my mentality. I've really, I've had to try and deal with, but um, he's with me, he's real close now. So now he's always there with me. That's it! It's over! Tara La Rosa is a brand new women's 135 pound champion of the world! There's always somebody better, stronger, and faster out there. And your goal is to be that person. That's what I want to do. I don't really know where I'd be without MMA in my life. Um, it's not just that my life would be different. I would be different. I'd be a different person. It's such a huge part of my life that I just can't imagine it not being there. Wow! Who would have called it? I gave up my job to be a professional MMA fighter. MMA has made me stronger. 
stronger on top of everything else. You know? I love it. I uh, definitely have a passion for mixed martial arts, and it's definitely been a very difficult struggle, but it's all worth it in the end.